She is. She is. She is. She is. Facts. Wine sipping, you know? That's how we gotta celebrate today, you know? <laughs> oh God. Gotta pull up with a G. Come through, come through. Everybody can just get like a cup of um, a glass of champagne real quick, you know. I don't know. What what am I celebrating? Celebrating life, accomplishments. You know what I'm saying? Like just waking up and being able to actually, you know, break milestones. You know that kind of thing. That's what we're celebrating. Live. See. Yeah, that's what we're celebrating, you know what I'm saying? Life, accomplishments, and, um, you know, all that. <laughs> what's going on cuz what's going on Shade? what up what up what up if it's not forks then what good question like whenever I think of other investments I'm just like uh I'm all right it's not really impressive so it's like um Trading hope, trading kind of like puts a, a high bar when it comes to all the stuff. Drugs. <laughs> Celebrate with a blunt. Soon enough, soon enough. Yeah, I don't, awesome. I don't really smoke too too much um, during the, the um the daytime. You know what I'm saying? Like I like to, you know. Wait, she has... Yo, yo, you didn't click the glasses. You didn't click the glass. You gotta. Come and click the glass. So what's the profit now? Hmm? Did you close it out yet? Nope. We trying to get to half a mil? Let's see. I mean, I have. I'm not looking at the numbers. I'm looking yeah. at, the, at the move. That's the thing. So we're we're still following. So I'm not. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. Click, click, yeah. clink, 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 clink. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We miss you too, Lati. Silver can't wait to see our auntie. <laughs> exactly. Trade less and live more. Exactly. Pagani? Nah. Mm -mm. I I'll be too stressed out. Honestly. With the Pagani. Right now. <clears throat> that show will look weird as hell. Did Mace cast the move too? Nah, like she she barely even be on the charts that much. <coughs> I sent Silver a B-Day present? Okay, um, send me the tracking number so I could check it out and make sure I received it actually. You're great to see you doing, enjoying life. Yeah, man, uh, I mean, we're kind of enjoying life in a sense, you know? Can't really do too much, but Stay inside and just get better at that shit, you know. Silver in the cup, where? At? Come here, silver. Hey, the big feature.
Yep, yeah, there, there she goes. Say what up. Say what up, Uncle. Exactly, yep. No, nah, but um we could um answer like a few questions real quick. Um uh, I want some I want some good questions. So do I have another page that I run? I have one page and a thousand fake pages. People a lot of people, I don't know, a lot of people just make fake pages of me. Like, it's kind of weird, actually. It's, um, it's, I have a new fake page every single day. It's kind of weird, but yeah. I have one page. If it's not at two banks, if it has an at two banks underscore a dot something, then it's not real. I have one page, uno. Let's see some questions. Uh... My my biggest L recently, I probably um what was it? Like I think like thirty-five thousand, forty thousand. Um I had tried to it was like when I was out of it. That and that's why like whenever I'm I'm like in my trading zone, I, I don't really um try to break down the charts and, and show like my like my group and whatnot because I'm like so inside the zone. Um, and if, if my focus actually gets kind of slipped out from me trying to actually explain to people, like, you know, what I did and whatnot, I kind of just get out of the zone. So I don't even bother. Um, I'll rather just show like a breakdown once I'm actually done my trading weeks and whatnot. And then I can actually talk about it and whatnot. But whenever I'm in the zone and pretty much within the, the within the move and whatnot and analyzing and whatnot, I don't like to actually, actually like to to speak on it much because it kind of just throws me off, honestly. So I'd rather just, um, you know, just wait. But um, I took the L when I was actually trying to do both at one time. Then I, I just like lost focus of like my bias and whatnot. And then, yeah, like I just, I put on, I had what, like a standard on, on US 30. And then I took like a, yeah, like a $35,000 loss. I think it was 35,000 or like 40,000, something like that. But, you know, it happens, you know, it happens, especially like whenever you're, you're, you're using like bigger lot sizes, you know, your losses are going to be bigger as well, in a sense, you know. Um, okay, I'll try to um, And just understand that like, it's not really about the money. These are just numbers, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, any anybody could have caught the same exact move, the same exact way with a lower lot size. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So it's 91 questions, sheesh. Five day course in, in October still? Bro, we're on a fucking worldwide pandemic. Like, I'm not too sure if I realize that. It's like not, businesses are not open. So which means that um, what I have going on with like my, my in-person classes is not gonna be active. So I don't think that's even possible to even do an in-person class knowing that we have a worldwide issue right now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Waiting game. People just for, forget, like, we're, like, all on lockdown w worldwide. Like, y'all don't realize that? <clears throat> Am I going to do a YouTube video on why you got into the new trade? Not at all, because I don't feel like I, I, I need to actually break down every fucking time I trade. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be grateful on when I do break down. But I think it's kind of annoying if um, y'all really expect me to actually try to break down every single trade. Not at all. Not gonna happen. Um, and all Wall Street Academy students could have caught the same exact move based off of like what I'm gonna teach them. What the fuck is that? Yeah. No, like, oh, shut up. Yeah, like all Wall Street Academy students could have caught the same exact move based off of like what they know. Um, I don't. I don't feel like it deserves like a, a breakdown. Like, I mean, I feel like um, I'm giving answers when y'all aren't really comprehending as to like why things are done. 
Um, and you could actually figure out why things are done by actually going on a course and pretty much studying the course. It's really, that's what it is. Um, so this entire overall flow of things could have been very, very easily done with any other lot size. And um, yeah, but I don't think it deserves a video of like everything. Like every single time I fucking trade, that's going to be annoying. Um... What pairs do I, I recommend? Um, it's up to you, man. Shit, like, you know, like, it's like me asking you, like, yo, like, it's like you asking me, like, what what type of girls should you date? I'm, nigga, I, I don't know. Like, what are you into? Like, are you into a, a girl that's crazy? Are you into a girl that's, that's shy? Like, are you into, into a pair that's slow? Are you into a pair that's fast? Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's up to you. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Uh, how do I control my emotions um, during trading? Um, don't be attached to the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's just a move. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at the, the um, move. Like, everybody's. Um, I got some people asking, me, "Hey, like, Q, did you close out? Did you close out?" I'm like, "No. Nah, like, I, I have no reason to close out. There, there's literally no reason to close out." Um, Everything is still, is still valid for like a bearish move. Fundamental wise, um, they're speaking on like a wave two of the coronavirus since a lot of businesses are actually tr trying to open up early when in reality is not ready to open up. Um, I have no reason to close out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just flowing. I'm not looking at the money. The money is going to be the, the byproduct of what your analysis is and how much leverage you're actually using. But that's about it, really. Um... How do I handle drawback when I see negative, heavy negatives? That's subjective. Um, what is heavy negative? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you gotta understand. Like, what is, uh, like, my heavy negatives and your heavy, uh, heavy negatives are gonna be a lot different. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the, to each zone type thing. Um, I don't, I watch the move. I pretty much understand how much I'm willing to lose each and every trade. You know, it could be um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000, 60,000 dollars, 70,000 dollars, 80,000 dollars sometimes. Like, I mean, um, and all that is going to be based off like my my entries as far as like if my entries are good, then my risk is going to be a lot lower. You know what I'm saying? But if, my, if, my, if I know that my entries are, are like bad and I actually rush the entry, then I'm going to be looking at like a higher, you know, loss if it actually comes down to it, you know? So, yeah. What is the best trading advice? That's a good one. Um, what is the best trading advice you could give someone? Um, be patient. Be patient and understand that you have to comprehend what you're doing before you actually try, try to, to rush in. Um, <clears throat> understand that you have to... Oh, yeah. And I told the group this also. You have to be able to be trading long enough to experience... No, no, a patience is also another thing also, but I think this is the best one though. You have to be able to be trading long enough to experience different market conditions, all right? Which means that every single season, the market is different as far as um, 2015 first quarter, different. 2015 second quarter, different. 2015 third quarter, different. 2015 fourth quarter, different. 2016 first quarter different like you know what i'm saying it goes on and on and on every single season is going to be a different type of movements it has a different type of volatility and you have to be able to stick around with trading period to actually be able to experience these different market environments so you could actually adapt to new environments you know what i'm saying if you don't then i feel like you're, you're taking like a huge gap out of being able to understand, you know, 
different ways of the flow of the market and, and that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, so and and I haven't skipped the season yet. I, I, I've traded every, pretty much every week um, for the past like five, six years. Um, so I haven't skipped any any um, seasons. How have you changed as a man? Um, how have I changed? Not at all. Remember, financial success only, only like truly blossoms you to who you really are. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's all it is. Like, um, money's a tool. You know what I'm saying? That tool gives you the ability to actually show who you really are. That, that's all it is. As far as change, not too much. I was, always, I, was, I was always this person. But you become more of that person once that financial, you know, stress is actually gone. You know what I'm saying? And then you could actually, you know, spend how you want, that kind of stuff. Then you show who, who you really are, you know? It doesn't really change you. It just shows you who you really are. So if you, let's say you make a million dollars and all of a sudden you're an asshole to everybody that you talk to, that's who you always were. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's what it is. You know, it shows you who you really are. So if you're an asshole before money, you're going to be an asshole with money and, and, that, and, and whatnot. So that's how I see it. What goes through my mind during drawdown? I'm literally like, ah, this shit again. <laughs> That's it. It's like, ah, this shit again. <laughs> That's it. Uh, for a rookie trading US 30, what is the minimum? For a rookie trading US 30, what is the minimum that I can have in an account? I wouldn't recommend a rookie trade in US 30. Simple as that. Go on AU or some shit. Somebody asked me, do I trade with FTMO? Nope, I have my own money. Do you still consistently journal during every trade? I haven't I'm journal trades in forever, honestly, years, 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 years. Um, if you want to um, journal trades, I'll recommend you open up like my FX book. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's automated. It's, um, it's, it's automated analytics based off of your account. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's, that's the best way on how to actually journal trades if you want to actually keep up. But um, to actually be able to, you know, write down every single trade, I feel like it's like a, a waste of time when you could actually just work smart, just open up an automated system that could pretty much track everything, you know? Do I trade ICT? I do not know what that is. Um, do I do payment plans for my course? No, not at all, because it's... um. Once you pretty much, you know, it's intellectual property at the end of the, the, the day. So I, I feel like to actually put on a payment plan, it'll make no sense because you're getting a lot of value out of it once you actually get on the course. And I can't take that back. I can't take that shit out of your head. So yeah, it's a one-time fee and it's no payment plans. Um, Inner circle trader? No, nah, I don't. No. Nah. You have a speaker? Speaker? No. Where is that when they say the kitchen? Don't know. Oh, it's outside. It's about to grow. Um, 
Um, ICT, no, um, I don't. Somebody had said, oh, he, he's doing a challenge for so-and-so and he'll pay somebody like a million. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm never <laughs> like, who do I have anything to prove to? <laughs> and plus, dude, dude doesn't even have like a, a face. It's just people just like praise a person that doesn't have a face. It doesn't make sense. What? Um, I'm not certain. I don't know. Right. <clears throat> hmm. Can you give away? Can you do a giveaway for new trade shoes? No. Came a long way from yeah, like um, me and Tip actually had a like I still have the, the pictures too. Like yeah, like we met like a long time ago at Starbucks and shit. Nah, it was dope. It was dope. It was like a little, a little, 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 little meet up, meet up. You know what I'm saying? But um, I mean, you gotta Bentley, shut up. You gotta kind of expect growth. You know what I'm saying? Like if 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 you're the same person on May thirteenth. 2021 then you haven't grown you know what i'm saying every single year you should be getting better you know what i'm saying like if you're the same person from last year then it doesn't make sense you know what i'm saying you're literally doing the same shit over and over and over what's the it doesn't really benefit you you know what i'm saying so you gotta get, get, get better every, each and every year you know what i'm saying so it's only right if you're gonna be you know better than the last year growth that should be the goal If you have 10K, how much do I need to take out of it to trade? If you have 10K, as far as 10K in your bank account, how much do I need to take out to trade? If I have 10K in my bank account, no, um, if I have 10K in my bank account, um, I would probably take out even like $4,000, $5,000 to fucking trade, personally. Um, if you want to do it, that's on you. Um, if you don't, that, that's on you. But if me, um, when I had 10K in my bank account, I literally, I, I, I remember it. I remember it till this day. I took out like $5,000 and I, and I put that shit straight into my broker account. Because you got to think about it. If you plan on taking this shit seriously, for a person to have 10K in their bank account and only put in $500 inside their trading account, then that, then that means that they don't really trust themselves. You know what I'm saying? So, um... You know, I'd rather just, you know, put a good amount of money just so I actually can, you know, benefit from that versus putting in like a small, small portion that's not going to really do much for me, you know? So I'll say if you have 10K in your bank account and you put and you've been studying and on your shit, I'll say, you know, put put 3,000 through 5,000. Maybe the, the perfect advice for, for me personally. Please explain the re-entry on, on US 30. I posted a screenshot of my skill and entry on, on Wall Street Academy, if you're on Wall Street Academy. Why aren't most um, why aren't most successful? Why aren't most successful at understanding the psychological aspect of behind trading? Um, I feel like, I mean, people don't really look at the psychological things. They look at the technical things all, all the time versus understanding that you have to be able to to be good up here to actually be able to actually hit certain milestones. If you're not, then you're going to be scared of drawdown. You're going to be scared of profit. You're going to be able to be that kind of person that um, will hold negatives and close pos po positives early. And vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Versus actually understanding that, like, yo, um, you have to be mentally stable when when you're negative, mentally stable when you're positive, and understand that the market is not against you. You know what I'm saying? The market is literally just showing you candles. It has no attachment. Well, you should have no attachments to the market. Like, it, it doesn't know you. It doesn't 
you know, it knows nothing about you. It's not after you. Um, you know, it has nothing to do with you. All that it's doing is just showing you data. And that's it. That's it. So if you understand that aspect, then you wouldn't be scared to, to um, trade. You know what I'm saying? Just pretty much understand that you got to understand what, what you're looking at and then, you know, analyze and trade. Do I need to analyze more than three pairs? You can make all of the money in the world off one pair. It's a get good at one pair. That's where it starts. Market don't care about people's feelings. 100%, bro. 100%. Like, you could be crying over here, praying. Once a person started doing this, all down the drain. If a person is in a trade and they start praying out of the blue, you know, it's all downhill from that point. Um, the biggest lot size I've, I've ever taken was, I mean, on on US thirty, just a standard. Um, and on currencies, the biggest lot size was probably probably just a twenty lot. Yeah, probably just a twenty lot max, honestly. Um, but I'm still yet to actually get super consistent at twenty lots, as far as scaling in at twenty lots, like how I do ten lots and that kind of stuff. So I don't really. Um, bother too too much because every time that i try to do a fucking 20 lot on 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 gj i fucking get smacked so i'm like i don't even bother i probably just stick to my my 10 lots and stick to that kind of drawdown versus a 20 a 20 pip drawdown or a 20 lot size drawdown actually um collab with ty out in cali i don't know who the hell ty is and plus, I don't do collabs. I'm good. The FTMO challenge. Um, I know a lot of people that that do it. I know a lot of people that um that benefit from it. Um, I heard it's not easy, but um. I mean, I'll recommend it if you're trying to actually gain some capital. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why not? You know? Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like, like a dope system to actually, you know, give people like like a head start, you could say. Um, I, I don't think it's a bad thing, though. Definitely. like If, if you could take advantage of it and, and pass their qualifications and whatnot, then I mean, shit, go for it. You know? Why not? 